let's face it, coolers are messy, and warm beer, well, that's just wrong. So I'm gonna teach you how to build a kegerator. You heard me, a kegerator. There's some work to this, but it'll make your job a whole lot easier if you do what we did and buy a kegerator conversion kit. You can buy a new fridge for this or get an old one that works. It doesn't really matter either way. Obviously, you're gonna need a keg, but you'll also need a fill CO2 tank that'll pressurize the keg so you don't have to keep opening the door and pumping the tap. Check out the directions that come with your kit, cause that'll help. But so will this video, so keep watching. Use a hole saw to cut the spot for your tap on the top of your fridge. I don't recommend doing it on the front of the door. Also pick a spot you like on the tabletop for the tap hole, cause once it's drilled, there's no going back. Once your hole is cut, run the lines from your keg through the hole and into the poor spout fixture. Now go ahead and fix the spout directly to the tabletop, making sure to put your lines through that hole. Then use a spray foam sealant to close up the hole. This will keep the cold air from escaping and keep that keg nice and cold. Then continue to attach all the hoses or tubing to both the CO2 tank and the keg's tap. Don't forget to open the CO2 tank valve after all the leads are attached and in place. Put the keg and the CO2 tank in the fridge. Set the tap in the open position and close the door. Enjoy your party, but remember, if you party too hard, you'll pay for it tomorrow. <laughs>